All right, another day, another fun angle. We are going to an open house today, or many. Uh, I don't know how much I will show you. I don't really know what I, how I'm gonna do this, but part of my getting into real estate, my manager wants me to go to open houses. So go to open houses, meet people, talk to people, meet agents, whatever, see houses, kind of get to know the area. So that's what we're doing. So it is April 20th, 420, at about noon. We're going to the first open house on Effie Street. This is kind of Silver Lake. I'm gonna hit Silver Lake and Los Feliz today, basically. Um, yeah, so we're sitting in the Los Feliz, or not Los Feliz, Silver Lake, Silver Lake traffic, and we're gonna- In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Benton Way. Go to the first one. I will show you when we get there. All right, so just saw the first house listed by the agency. Uh, 2331 Effie Street over in Silver Lake. A pretty cool house. New build. It's been on the market, I think she said three... Sorry, I can't see shit. Been in the market like three weeks. Yeah, really cool. The weirdest part, I'd say, this street... It's a little bit reminiscent of those older Hollywood Hills. Um, yeah, just smaller road. I don't hate it, but it is a specific, kind of a specific person that has to live up here because it's not, it's not as bad as the older Hollywood Hills where it's those little baby, baby roads, but it's a little awkward. Um, definitely not a lot of parking. See here, come down. It's a rough road for sure, so it's, I don't know. It's a little specific. But the house itself was really pretty. It was a uh, new construction. Really, really well done. I love the finishes in it. Uh, overlooked, I think Silver Lake Boulevard, but you don't really hear it, especially when they had that, they had a pool, a little pool set up in the back of like a splash pool. You turn the fountain on, you didn't hear any of the road, which I love. I don't mind being in the city, but I prefer to not really see or think about it. What I will say the upside to that one is that you are really close to a normal street. Like here's, there's kind of up where it comes. See, so, so we're close to like a regular road. It's not all little, oh shit, sorry. It's not all little baby roads, so that part is nice. Yeah, cool house. Not really sure how I'm going to do kind of these open house tours, what I'm doing, how I'm posting them, what I'm taking pictures of, but. You can go take pictures, take videos. I'm going to try to pop pictures and stuff in of houses that I'm seeing here, and then we'll go off to the next one. All right, honestly, that one wasn't really worth videoing or taking pictures of. Got some pictures, but it was, I don't know, it's fine, very standard. It's like a little development on this street, Bruce Court. There's like six houses that they've built and some other, some different ones. I don't know. Wasn't really a fan of that, so on to the next one. All right, we've taken the coat off and we're on to the next house.
members of the last house I just saw. Sorry, more stories in an unflattering angle, but I think you come to expect that from me by now. Uh, you're not going to get angles, and I'm rarely going to look at the camera because I don't know where the right place to look is. Um, the last house I just saw, another house in Silver Lake. We did bump it up in price. I think the first house I saw was three. Actually, it might have been the same price. I think the first house I saw was three six or two nine nine. I can't remember. Big difference, but I couldn't remember. The second one I saw was like two five ish. In this house, I just looked at was. 3.3 in Silver Lake actually overlooked the lake, had views from basically every room had, okay, well, not the back of the house, obviously, but the entire front of the house had views, the shower had views of Silver Lake and the Hollywood Hills, um, the bathroom had views, it had a garden in the back, it had the mansion grass, which is kind of like astroturf, I guess, but nice astroturf. Um, it had, go to my Instagram because that's where I'm showing all of these, I'll, if I can figure out how to do it or I'm organized enough, I'll try to post some of the pictures and videos in here that I've been taking as I go through these houses, but head over to my Instagram for sure, it's, I'm probably not going to put it in my bio, but it's two underscores, C, two underscores, J, two underscores, F. In 1,000 feet, continue straight onto Rowena Avenue. I think. CJF, but underscores between every two underscores between every letter. But that last house I saw, the second one is kind of like, eh, fine. And it was a new build, didn't like it. The last one I just saw, so pretty. It was not a new build. Continue straight onto just, Rowena Avenue. It was just cool. The kitchen was cool. It had a concrete slab countertop with like super niche little, I don't know, trinkets added into it. So when they had poured the concrete, they added like a key a bracket, uh, I don't know, just like some little pieces here and there, like little Easter eggs in the slab. Continue on Rowena Avenue for one mile. And then I, the part I really loved about it was the amount of light that each room had because it was up, it was a lot of windows, a lot of really beautiful windows facing the right direction. It was just such a light and right house. I really liked that. The upstairs living, upstairs living area was a little bit strange. It had one of those secondary or second living rooms, sitting rooms, whatever you want to call it. I don't really like those because I don't think they're necessary. Um, I guess coming from me, I don't usually have people in my house. Uh, so a secondary living room doesn't make sense. It kind of just feels like a waste of space, right? If two people are living in a house, you're probably not going to sit in two separate living areas. Um, it, it seems a little bit weird. I would maybe use it for something else. Part of me thinks that that whole upstairs area, it was two bedrooms, had a bathroom, had a, a laundry room, whatever. Part of me was like, maybe that should just be closed off and made into one big master suite, but it is also off the back of the house, so I probably wouldn't want to do that. But it was really beautiful. I'm going to, like I said, go to my Instagram. You'll see more of the videos as we go along through the day. But I'm going to another house. We are almost doubling in price now. This one is on Los Feliz, Los Feliz Estates, Los Feliz Boulevard. Um, this one is nearly six million dollars. I think it's just under so that will be fun. We're gonna bump it up and pretend like we belong. So I will check in with that one in a minute. All right, you guys, I definitely think we saved the best house for last. I just looked at that older older home on Los Feliz. A fucking incredible. I think I'm, I can't quite tell if I'm going up somebody's driveway or if this is part of a road, but let me show you what we're looking at. I 
yes, I apologize, my windows are dirty. I mean, come on. Sometimes you just have to take a turn and see where the road goes. Sorry, I had to cut that off because some guy was at my ass. Uh, not in a good way. So, we're just driving. Let me see. We're just driving. We're up off Los Feliz Boulevard. I love the houses up here. These are the homes. If we're going to manifest, there we go. We're on Chiselhurst, Chicklehurst, whatever that is. When I'm manifesting, this is what I'm manifesting. These ones are incredible. I love some of my very, very low. Look at this one. Some of my very favorite houses in LA are these old, old builds. I'm talking like the 20th. Oh shit, we're at a dead end. Fuck, okay. Um, okay. Don't panic. At least we're at a dead end in a rich area. We're not gonna get murdered. Sometimes I go to dead ends when I'm doing notary appointments and I'm like, oh fuck. Okay, as long as we don't. I did back into somebody's retaining wall one time. Obviously I bolted as fast as possible. He definitely heard me doing it, but uh, didn't catch me. I didn't do any damage, but it was super embarrassing. The house was I supposed to get out of there. So we're doing a 415 point turn to get out of here. I'll say if I get lost up in these hills, it's not going to be a horrible thing as long as one of these people will take me in. Um, but yeah, anyways, I love these old, old houses. I love the old, the, the one that I was just in, it was a 1920, I think they said. Part of the house was an addition, but it was so cool. I love, that's what I love in these, like the old Hollywood Hills, the Los Feliz Estates, Pasadena, Altadena. I love the old build houses, 20s, 30s, old Hollywood, Spanish Revival, the architecture on it, they're so solid built, and the details are just, the details are in the craftsmanship, it's not even like, like we have cool details now in, in architecture, right, but it's all in finishes, then it was just the quality of the work, it was thick, heavy, carved wood, beautiful structure, the structure, beautiful architecture, the lots are bigger. I mean, it's just like, when you look at those houses, it's just everything was so damn well done and I love them. So that one was no exception. They had added a separate, an additional wing to the house. So when you look at my Instagram and potentially if I tag, add the videos in here, you'll see like, you'll see this bar. I mean, they literally added a private bar that was so cool in this second seating area, but it went off. You could almost close it off where you made it part of that master suite. They they made two primary suites with the addition of that. This house is sick. With the addition of that, with the addition. So you go up a st spiral staircase off of the interior courtyard, which you guys know, I'm a sucker for an interior courtyard. This one was gorgeous. So you go up, up this staircase, I'll try to insert it gorgeous and it leads you into through a glass door into a huge primary bedroom which was gorgeous also off of this you could either go up the gorgeous black spiral staircase or you could go down this super light filled hallway that was of course overlooking your courtyard hot tub pool entertainer's backyard i mean this house was sick it was on a i want to say it was a half acre i mean look at this are you kidding me? That's what I live for. This little Bavarian house, look at this. Sorry, you just saw everything in my car, but don't, don't pause the video. But yeah, I can't, I can't, you guys. This is so fun. This is like, this is when I love to go look at houses. Like, this is why I got into real estate. I love, love looking at these houses. And I know real estate's about more than just looking at pretty houses, but is it, is it? 